Who wants to live here? I'll make a deal with one of you guys. Wouldn't be as fun. Play. Start looting this guy. Uh, this is when it pops off. You're watching that other door, right? Yeah, I'm watching. Gamer. Oh, yeah. Nice. That guy hacker. Did that not reload? Yeah, I'm just watching, man. I didn't. I had like fucking. Oh. God, I kill you all, bastard. Out of ammo, reloading. Sorry. Nope. Are you fucking. Damn. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? What? That was gay as fuck. <laughs> How y'all's raids going? Were you doing it too? Oh, dude, we had the most ridiculous reserve encounters. <laughs> <laughs> there were three of us squads, like, all, like, around the fucking control room, just like, we can work this out, guys. <laughs> three separate squads. Wait, PM seasons? Yeah. It was just... There's three PMC squads. One guy was uh, like, who do you want to live? I'll kill everybody else but them. Yeah. <laughs> and what some other guy's fuck? like, we don't know. Your guy just said, I was like, we're not with that guy. He's not with <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> so what, did y'all die nuts. or what happened? I, yeah, uh... we died. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually, dude. Once the talk talking starts happening, it gets real confusing. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was nuts. I'll be right back. I'll be back in like twenty minutes. All right, let's uh, scab interchange real quick. Well, scabbers are. Yeah. Uh no. We're gonna scab uh, woods. I need loot. I almost got out. That was so good. I watch you. You're getting shot by something. Yeah, it was. It was getting tough there. <laughs> uh, I think he, I think I was getting shot by a scav when I was still on the roof, or by a rogue maybe. And then when I went down to med, uh, I think a scav or or I, the whatever player saw me getting shot and just like walked up on me. Let's try reserve. Yeah. Hope how long it takes. Um. Fifteen forty two, bro. Big pipes pipe. <laughs> big pipes pipe. <laughs> oh, big pipes coming through. Watch out. You want to scab reserve this? Yeah, we're here. Uh, no, I'm gonna step out. I'm gonna step out for a second. Oh yeah, you gonna get some zombies? Go get some I, I gotta go somewhere. Go get some. Go get some. I got an appointment. I have an appointment. Yeah, I'm with, I'm with my pharmacist. Yes. What's the situation? Three people and go pick it up. Or like you go into like an apartment or something? Um, this the guy I hit up today, yeah. Um so it, Kevin is the guy that was my brother's friend in college that I know here. <laughs> yeah. And that's the first person that I hit up. He got me one dealer. He was like, Yeah, this guy's straight. His name's Flash. <laughs> and <laughs> And so he's got like the, it comes in like a package. It says like Backpack Boys on it. It's like a brand from California and shit like that. Um, it's legit, but like he has like some high tier, which is like 100 for a quad or like 80, like 75 for a quad. And I usually just get a quad off of him for 80 bucks or for 100 bucks. I just get whatever his good shit is. And then I would go back and forth between Kevin and this guy. And Kevin would like, is not consistent. Like, I would go to Kevin because he would hook me up fat. But if he didn't have anything, then like I'd just have to go to the regular guy. <laughs> What's an eighth go for nowadays? I just bought well, an eighth for forty bucks. Yeah, it's I mean, still forty dollars. Forty, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I mean, it's not legal here. Would hit the weed market? <laughs> no, I thought it'd have gone down. Well, mids has disappeared. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty high quality stuff for forty bucks too. It's not like mid range. It's usually pretty good. Pretty good stuff. I don't know. And then he put me on to another guy because he thought he was moving to Louisiana. So he was like, hey, this is my friend, so-and-so. And I was like, okay, cool. And then, like, two weeks later, he was like, yeah, I got a job in Austin. So I'm not moving. And I was like, all right, cool. So I got three people I can hit. <laughs> so I just go between the three of them to try and, like, spread the business out. But Kevin, like, the main guy that I know, he's, like, the Asian dude. He is who I usually try and hit up because... 
now it's kind of like I give him a hundred bucks and he gives me a quad of whatever. It's usually not like the top top shit, like best shit, but it's fucking dank. Like I'm not worried about it. And, and then he'll give me and then yeah, and then he'll give me the rosin too. So like I said, like a half gram of rosin maybe, which is pretty fucking expensive. Like if I go to Kevin and he's giving me rosin and the fucking uh the quad for a hundred bucks. Like the rosin itself is probably worth a hundred bucks, to be honest. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> it's pretty expensive stuff. Um, but he has a shit ton of it. So if I tried to get rosin from Maddie, like the second dude he introduced me to, Maddie would only give me like I'd be, I'd give him an extra twenty bucks and he'd give me like point two, like a couple hits, like not much, because he pays a shit ton for it. Whereas Kevin doesn't pay anything and just has jars of fucking. <laughs> Ash rosin. And so he'll like, yeah, he'll toss me shit all the time. But for him, it's mostly like I hit him up and I'm probably one of the very few people that gets like personal weed from Kevin because he like, like last time I went over there, he had to cut open a pound bag to give me some weed because <laughs> he doesn't usually sell that. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit, you're moving weight again. And he was just like, eh, you know, eh, you know, a little bit. And there was like six pounds in a duffel bag in the corner. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, it was kind of like, all right, I guess straight got, moving weight. Got Damn. More weed, yeah. Well that again, that's like lightweight. Like he was moving like 50 to a hundred pounds in the past. Jeez. That's Damn, sick. That's you, is that like... all he does? You think? No, he's a sysadmin for the city of Austin. He's a contractor. Oh shit! And he just sells weed. For that's extra the fat that's cash. the job that he just got. Um, but yeah, the weed thing has always been a like for him. Like me buying from him is like I put a little extra money in his pocket. Like he gets a little bit of cash from me buying weed. Like it's nothing serious. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't need customers. Like he's like the. He's at this point he plays more of like a logistics game where like if people need things he knows other people that he can like do the logistics for so like somebody will hit him up and be like yo I need like some benzos <laughs> or like yo I need some coke or yo I need some of this or I need 20 pounds of weed and like he facilitates that stuff cuz he knows the different people right. like who to get it from who to sell it to if somebody's trying to offload shit then he'll be like oh yeah I got a guy like I could sell him like 20 um so now he plays a lot more like that. And that's just because he's networked so much and knows so many different people that it's like, I don't really drug deal. I just kind of like help everybody else out and then they hook him up with shit. That's fucking dope, dude. And then I get hooked up because I <laughs> hit him up with shit. It's like if I needed any like illicit substance in Austin, I could probably get it. Like if you were looking for something because <laughs> Kevin knows somebody. My my dude offered me coke. Uh, yesterday, yeah. day, and I was just like, nah. I would nah. I don't <laughs> wanted to ever do coke unless like. No, I, I got offered pills by the guy. Like it made, cause you never know what it stepped on. Oh, we're in, boys. Let's go. Yeah, fuck that stuff. Not yeah, good. you need like a drug test kit. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, always too, test uh, your fucking coke, dude. Little risky these days, especially with the fentanyl going around. What does even coke do to you? Try it and find out. Ask Carlo. <laughs> <laughs> it makes for a good time, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I've never time. done it, man. I don't yeah, know. Dude, don't shrooms me. is fucking great, dude. Yeah, cocaine is not comparable to shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> if that's really what you were going into that thinking, the, no. Yeah. Completely different drug category. Honestly, not that great. If I'm being 100p... What, coke cocaine is shrimp? not that fun. Yeah, uh, about the coke. It was fun, but like, like I didn't. I feel like my heart would be racing, pounding. It would be uncomfortable. Yeah, but you don't notice. Like, I mean, you yeah, it's not a... quite like that. Yeah. But it's not like an anxiety. It's just like let's fucking just, go. It's very short lived. Like it just does not last long, and it's just like, I don't know. Like yeah, you feel fucking great. <laughs> you don't know anything about the macho man. Really. Like, <laughs> No problem. Ooh, 17 minutes. We all, we all at. I'm on the the titties. Yeah, me too. Titties. Yeah, I hear somebody. Oh yeah. That's hey, hey, the boys, what up? Okay. Hey, let's go on the grand. Yeah, let's go straight down. Yeah, let's go on the grand. We're going straight down. On the, the grand. grand. 
Dang, dude, y'all gonna rush the fucking Raiders, bro? Do we? <laughs> Hell yeah. 17 minutes left? I bet nobody's down there. There's just a bunch of dead bodies. Yeah, it's a big yeah. jump. No, 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 no. Wait, y'all just spawned in? How far? Okay, yeah, y'all just gotta keep running towards down there. Um, the dome? Ow. Where'd you go, Carlo? I'm a little behind. Yo, th that building that you're looking at, that big long building there, who, I don't know who's streaming about watching. Me. Carlo? Yeah. Um, Brand has the key to that. There's pretty good, uh, like, tools and shit in these garages. You're looking for, like, car batteries, spark plugs, shit like that. Ooh. That long building is good. It's we bet. For it. Dude, Scav's not killing Scav changes the whole game. Like, you can just run around. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the whole point of the scav, though, right? They're fucking scavengers. They're running around stealing shit. They're picking up the little bits that are left behind by all the PNC. And they swarm you if, they're too, <laughs> if you stick around for too long. Yeah, I, that... Scavs killing scavs seems like some shitty gameplay. Like, I could understand that being frustrating early Tarkov. There's somebody in that building over there. It's good tech loot. I just heard somebody break a glass. It's on those like tables and shit, Carla. Like all those right there. Yeah. Oh, dude. Like on that, and then on the little like white cubes all around there, like back where you were at. It looked, it didn't look like there was much there. Yeah, all on the little tables. Yeah. So like, and like sometimes in shit. between the racks too. On those little things. That's down below. That's down below. Yeah, that's down below. below. Dude. I don't know if there's anything up there. There's a bag up the, up there, Carlo. This is all you. I don't have any headphones. Oh, I'm taking this fucking shit helmet I think off. Raiders. Hang on. Hello? It probably is Raiders. <clears throat> oh, dude, I fucking need that. Dude, and a blood set? Yeah, hang on, hang on. Shut up, shut up, shut We gonna wait for Carla? Carla's gonna carry his business to Danny. Are y'all down there already? Yeah, Carla, yeah. you don't know how to get down there? Uh, which door are we here? Yeah. Wait, wait, flashlight, flashlight. Yeah, no, yeah, go out through the... Oh! The right, yeah. Laser flashlight. He's looting that body right there. I can see the body. Let's scav. Talk to him, I might be a scav. Yo, are you a scav? Oh, God. I hit him. He broke his leg, broke his leg. Yo, rush him, rush him. I absolutely decapitated Dead. I right. have, so watch out, there's another one. Where? I think I just killed him. You killed me. <laughs> I didn't know Carla was fucking there! Y'all yeah. killed each up? other. <laughs> this is the last guy that was in the room. Yep, you turned well, around and killed in front of me, and then I didn't both know. Of... I watched that happen on your screen, Eddie, or I watched it from Christian's point of view, and I did not know that was Carlo either. Like, I, I had no I did, idea what did you there. show up? I didn't even know you were there. I was yeah. there that whole fight. That was I, fucking I weird. Just... Dude, that was funny as fuck. I was like, <laughs> wait, why is there a guy? Hi, Christian? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he got blasted at the end. There was somebody in control room, like in the hallway to control room. Oh. God damn it. That was fucking funny. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, that was so good. Oh my god. Oh. Yo, to be fair, Bofo did literally pop the dude's melon right at the beginning. Like the actual scav or whatever that was there. He fucking... Was that a player? I, I definitely yeah. like it was a player.